What's up everyone? Why aren't you flow trading? Why? WTF? Watch the flow. Lots of action going on this week. We had over 20 trades from flow. That was big flow. Not to mention all the stuff that came in that was less than perfect, but we still took those trades and profited on anyway. So much going on. What I loved about this week is there's a lot of longer dated contracts. So the big money is putting their money into the market for a longer time frame. I like this idea. Lots of action to see. Let's go hit the scanner and check out what happened. Let's start with light, L-I-T-E, just follow the flow. We had an above the ass sweep for 117,000, followed by 95,000, then some smaller ones. This was enough to capture my attention. Took it from 175 to 210, quick 20% gain. This was a 30 minute trade. I'll take 20% in 30 minutes all day long. Now let's go hit the scanner for Monday. Monday, we saw Visa hit for $4.8 million. Look at these numbers, 281, 287, 287, 287, 203, 290, 271, 176, $2.73 million. These are all sweeps, almost all ask side. We like the contract price, 11.3, 11.5, 11.55, 11.6, 11.75, 11.79. .5, Every time they hit this contract price, it went up. This is a good amount of money. This is the 618, 210s. It was trading at 206. 654 ish when they were buying these after hours friday it hit 210 expiring in june plenty of time but these are already looking good as always there's a discount link to join this scanner in the description below come join us check it out take these trades live with us and now let's get back to the scanner Tuesday, we had Netflix. This was an interesting one. This was $6.7 million of flow on Tuesday. This is the June 570 calls. We had 1.18 million, 786, 251, 249, 205, 248. These are huge trades here. Something big is brewing with Netflix. This is the 618 570s, but check this out. Two days later, the 618 575s came in for an additional $19.5 million. 3.732, 132, 121, 1.1, $9.96 million trade. This is big money. So Monday, they hit it for 16.7 million. Wednesday, they hit it for 19 million with a slightly different strike, $5 difference. Something's going on with Netflix. That is huge. Keep that on watch. GSAT. We had the 716 $4 calls. There's a lot of flow here. We have some small dollar amounts here, then 120 grand, that one's nice. Back to the small dollar amounts, these don't capture my attention, but the amount of flow that's here does capture my attention. Then we have a $399,000 trade, 160,000, so there's some good numbers in there. And if I scroll through all of this, look how much flow is coming in on GSAT. These are the 716 $4. Now, when they first started hitting this one, GSAT was down in the 1.45 area. After hours Friday, it hit 241. So this is already a good looking trade. Expires 716, plenty of time left on that one. Moving over to Workhorse. WKHS, this is the 219.32s. Look at this, we have sweep, 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 763,000, 586,000, 547,000, all said and done $1.9 million. That's the type of stuff we look for. Now look at this, this was trading at 38, 39, 39, 18, 36, 20 after hours. So this one dropped, but whether it works or not, this is the type of flow we're looking for. This is $1.9 million. Ask side sweeps, contract price, 739, 775, 805. That's what we're looking for. So again, it's down right now, but this is the type of flow we want to look for. Next up, LI, this is the 917 $32 calls. This was $2.6 million of flow. Look at these numbers here. 200,000, 100,000, 400,000, 385, 164, 45. This is the type of stuff we're looking for. These are big numbers here. Contract price, 795, 8.1, 8.45, 8.5, 8.6. Contract price going up. This is the type of stuff we're looking for. These expire 917, plenty of time, trading around 31, mid 31s, low 32s, after hours Friday, 3187, so it didn't really go anywhere, but guess what? 917 expiration, we don't care what this one does, hold on to it, let the trade do its thing. AA, this one came in on Wednesday, 
we had 157, then some smaller ones in here, then a $312,000 sweep, and then some smaller ones in here. All said and done, this is $1.25 million of flow. $1.25 million in the 416 $25 calls. This was trading around 2175, 2198. After hours Friday, it hit 2170. So again, this one didn't really move a whole lot, but guess what? 416 expiration it doesn't matter there's plenty of time on this one you don't buy a 416 contract and expect the same day move the big money wouldn't pay the extra premium for this amount of time if they thought there was going to be a move a lot quicker than that so if you buy 416 sit in it wait hang out let the trade play out Next up, LVS. LVS had a combined $2.8 million of flow. Look at this one. We got 189, 124, 399, 1.79 million, 316,000, 2.8 million all said and done. That's what we like to see here. This is the type of stuff we're looking for. This is the 416, 57, 50. This was trading around upper 55s. After hours, it hit 5676. So this one's gonna look pretty good for us already. 416 expiration so if it drops we're not concerned about it we're going to sit in this trade we're going to let it play out next up cpe this is a million dollars of flow 114 113 706 thousand dollar sweep and then another 91 thousand after that that's the type of stuff we're looking for some big money going in there these were trading around 2238 2247 after hours friday it hit 2330 so again 319 expiration plenty of time on that looking good already don't expect the same day move when you buy something that has a month or two months of time on it. If it comes, great. This one happens to be looking pretty good so far. And next up we have WDC. WDC had less than a million of flow, but this is what caught my eye here. A sweep ask side for $693,000. That's the type of stuff we're looking for. Remember, we're looking for these big trades, not the $70,000 trades, the $40,000 trades, the big trades, a $693,000 sweep, pretty good amount of money. That's what we're looking for. It was followed up with some smaller amounts. So this is the 416 $65 calls. It was trading at 6366 after hours at 6566. So it's up a little bit, not a whole lot, but again, 416 expiration, plenty of time. $65 call. It's now trading at 6565. So it's basically just barely in the money. So we're not worried about this one. We're going to sit in this. It's out to 416. Let the trade play out. Next up, ET. ET was a combined $1.4 million of flow. Here's an above the ass sweep for 1.34 million. That's all you really need. Before that was a $34,000 sweep, not paying attention to that, but boom, a $1.34 million sweep, that catches our attention. Then some smaller ones in here. So trading at 683, 684 after hours, it didn't go anywhere, but guess what? 716 expiration. If you buy something like this, do not expect the same day move. It's in the money already, plenty of time on this one. We're gonna sit in this and just let it play out. We're not worried about what happens on a one minute chart when we have a 716 expiration. So forget this one, set it aside, look at it periodically, but don't worry about what it does day to day now in February when it expires months from now. We're not concerned about what happens on a day-to-day -day basis with a longer-term contract. ON, ON had a combined $2.3 million of flow. We had a 490 in here, that's a good one. We had a 519 in here, 180, 312, 476. Some good numbers in here. This is the type of stuff we're looking for. Again, you guys are gonna get sick of hearing me say this, but it's the repetition of our voices over and over and over and over again drilling in what we're looking for that's what's going to make this stuff stick for you guys it was trading at about four dollars or forty dollars and thirty cents after hours friday 4160 nice little move there not concerned about it 716 expiration it's nice when we get a dollar or two up the day we get it or the same week but 716 expiration we're not worried about it what are we going to do we're going to sit in the trade and let the trade play out I want you guys to hear that in your head whenever you're looking at a long-term trade and thinking about what it's doing on a one-minute chart. I want you to hear me in the back of your head. What are we gonna do? Sit in the trade and let it play out. We're not worried about a one-minute chart on a 716 expiration. 
Next up, IQ. IQ had less than a million dollars of flow, but we had ask side sweep for 125, 363, 75, 164. Some decent numbers in there. Look at the contract price, 435, 455, 470, 510. That's what we like to see. Every time they hit this one, they're driving the contract price up. Decent dollar amounts going into this one. This was trading 25.95, 26.12, right around there after hours Friday, 26.55. So it didn't move much, but guess what? 9.17 expiration. What are we gonna do? We're gonna sit in the trade and let it play out. We do not watch a one minute chart on a 9.17 expiration. Sit in this one, set it aside, forget about it, don't worry about it, check it out periodically, let the trade do its thing. Marvell, M-R-V-L, this had $1.8 million of flow. 50,000 doesn't grab my attention. 132 is nice, 93 is nice, 75 is nice, but uh, above the ask sweep for $1.48 million, that has to capture your attention. Hey, what about these contract prices? What do we say every time? Contract price driving up. What do we have here? 233, 240, 243, 246, 252. So good dollar amount, contract price driven up every single time. This is the 319, $55 calls, trading at about $52 after hours Friday, 54.25. That's what we like to see. We had a nice move the same week we bought the contracts. Doesn't matter because we have a month of time on them. Still nice to see that same day move. Plenty of time to let this trade play out, even though it's already profitable. Next up, pins. Now, we called out pins for a hashtag 20 a little while ago. We saw the $521 $80 calls coming in for $5 million. Five plus million dollars, actually. So we had the $5.43 million trade right here, 858, 250, 399, 79, 799, 388. My math is way off. This is much more than $5 million. So 521, $80 calls. It was trading around 85, 86 at the time, and it dropped. It's 8440 after hours. If you buy something like this, we don't worry about a one minute chart. It expires 521. There's tons of money going into this one. So we just don't care what happens on a one minute chart. What are we gonna do? We're gonna buy it and we're gonna forget about it. Let the trade play out. Contract price 15 1, 15 17, 15 20, 15 34, 15 5, 15 6. Contract price driven up. Good dollar amounts going into it. Even if it drops, we don't care. 521 expiration, plenty of time. What do we do? Let the trade play out. Uber, Uber, nine seventeen seventy dollars calls. This is $3.7 million plus. So the 379 right here, $3.79 million ask side sweep is what caught my attention. After that, look what happens. A million dollars, 914, 473, 214, 561, 702. All of this combined, boom. That's what we're looking for. Some good money going into these contracts. Contract price, 649, 685, 690, 695, 705, 708, 715. Contract price driven up, lots of money going into it. It was trading in low 60s after hours at 60, 63. Not much of a bump, but guess what? 917 expiration. What do we do? We forget about it. Let the trade play out. Do not watch a one minute chart on a 917 expiration. CCL, this is the last one for now. This is a combined almost $1.4 million. We have a $175,000 ask side sweep, some smaller ones in here, and then a $585,000 above the ask sweep. So this doesn't show all of the information, so I'm gonna scroll up here and you see there's a little bit more of it. Now, these are smaller dollar amounts here, but just the fact that they hit it so many times, this is something worth taking a shot at for us. 226 expiration, $21 calls. It was trading just under 21 when they bought this. It was a little bit lower when they started. When they finished buying it, it was mid-20s, $20.68. So this is something that we're going to kind of keep an eye on. It's a shorter term contract, but good dollar amounts going into it. That's what we have for you this week with WTF Watch the Flow.